Hmm. Well, impressive. Building stuff has always been on my work weak point. As a dad, I may be okay with that until now. Now that I must defeat him. I do have that patio furniture that I haven't put together sitting in the garage. Okay, okay. Maybe I should cool it with the dad competition. Gotta keep it light. So, da Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. Yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. It's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble is pretty hard. I can barely make good words when I have a whole <laughs> alphabet in front of me. A level seven letters. Brian laughs. See? We can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pleasant. I could do this all night. Because I feel the innit need to impress Brian and prove that I'm better than him, obviously. That's the only reason, I think. Let's keep it moving. So, you have a dog? Sure do. Hmm, can't quite remember what he looks like. Oh, he's a little corgi. Always has a handkerchief around his neck. Yeah, I'm not getting it. I think I might need a visual reminder to jog my memory. If you happen to have any pictures of said dog, maybe on your phone? Brian laughs. Drag Gator, if you wanted to see pictures of Maxwell, you could have just asked. Show me the goods then. Brian pulls out his phone and flips the entire of dog pictures. Aw, oh, yeah, that's this stuff. What a good boy. Look around the room and take in the kitchen decor, looking for something else to comment. It's gigantic fix, Henry, but Brian and I suggest. And I... Just to it. Cool fish? It's definitely fake. What, really? Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just the thickest with plastic coconut glue to it. Look over, he's right. But I almost caught something like th that fish once. Mine was bigger though. Uh, of course it was. Oh, really? Yep, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out in the sea for three days, catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Man, that was some of the best food I've ever had. That actually sounds amazing. Well, if it was the last day. Everybody had gone to bed already, and I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out too. Then all of a sudden, it just starts running. So I jump on the reel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack and start... Fighting with, with the damn thing. I'm out there maybe an hour. Can't call up to my shipmates. It's just man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get him out of the surface and finally get a sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingway-esque. I get it onto the boat single-handedly. And you know what happens next? What happens next? The damn thing smacks me in the face with a tail. Knocks me out. I wake up the next moment on the deck. The fish is gone. Never felt dumber, so it got away. I think there's another version of me that want to spend the rest of my days tr life trying to catch that fish. Captain Ahab style. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Aw oh, man, fishing's the life. Haven't got enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? What am I? I've explained the urge to be vulnerable to him. I can't wait to say I'm fishing. I lean close. I'm simply the best out there. Okay, since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. Do you want to go fishing? Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Youngin, we're going fishing. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be a blast. Oh, no, the perfect little fishing spot. Bring some beers, we can sit back, relax, and ruin some trout. Bring the kids with us. Come on. You know you want to. I sigh, I've been cornered. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exuberant high five. Yes, maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish, so I can get you mowing my lawn. You can try to beat me, but they don't call me Dry Gator good at catching fish crunch for nothing. I'm spinning a web of lies that I fear will one, one day will consume me. Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. I also, I also for catching more fish than Brian. You're krilling with. With these puns, Dry Gator. Mull it over. You'll come around to the fish-related dad jokes in no time.
Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see that competitive fire in his eyes. It's gonna be a, become a whole thing, isn't it? Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So, how was your hang with Brian? He wasn't too spicy about it crushing defeat, was he? Nah, he was pretty gracious about it. Like, frustratingly gracious. Yeah, how dare that guy have some decency. Come on, Dad. He seems like a neat dude. I think so. I don't know. The guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently so do I. What did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without a permit, so we watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed and then sat around and ate Brian's food. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian said she had a hard time relating to the other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at, your, at her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. Can't believe I'm finally the cooler older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. Oh! You told him I was an amazing fisherman. You hate fishing. I know. I'm kind of panicking. I'm sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is wake me up. Wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently in the boat on the lake for hours on end. With no promise to tangle to tangible reward. Your only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor deep within your heart. Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself. As the world darkens around you and you wander, are you really starting to back yourself in the lake's reflection or simply just the abyss? Yeah, laugh it off, Amanda. You're coming with us. Is it my constitutional right to outright refuse this order? Daisy's coming too. Well, hmm. I bet I could have convinced Brian, Brian to bring his dog. Fine, sold. I'm in. All right, I'm bushed. Gonna call it tonight. Don't stay up too late, okay? You got it, pops. Let's go, boys. I agree.